Hello everyone, nice to see you again. I'm Chris. In this video, I'll give you a very uh, rough introduction of Mood Electronic Ironing Master because uh, I feel very, very thanks to them that they sent me some Ironing Master to me that I will test it. And I, in the future, I will also uh, make some videos and tutorials to how to integrate this Ironing Master into different brand of PLC or other type of solutions. So let's start. So uh, in here you can see that is uh, two types of uh, ironing master that in current form is made by Muru Electronic. The, uh, this one is Pro, this is a comp compact, and this one is the ironing hub and some analog to ironing converter. But in the first one, in the first tutorial that I will show you, maybe in the future I will show you how to use the ironing master first, then step by step. All their modules have same system layout. In the first one, in the first layer is the orange side is this uh, outing or input output area. And here is they have LED to show you each port's uh, uh, the system's condition, uh, the communication status and error inside. And for the power they're using Elocoke for the power in this XD1 and XD2. And they have the rotor switch to let you to config your module. For example, the IP address to uh, enable and disable some features. And here, the X F1 and XF2 is the network interface. Finally, they have also make sure they have the ask to for you to protect your device and people. And there's uh, some highlight points that I would like to uh, show you because after I read the manual, maybe this type of uh, these features is very gray in my view. This is just my opinion. They have a very flexible, they are very flexible um, the uh, ironing port configurations, and they are following the global standards and the IoT ready, and the their modules all in IP67 protections. For the first ironing port, as they have eight ports for each modules, and each module can be used software to config as the ironing or digital input or digital output, and they have a big current output for the each port. They can output four ampere and each pin a maximum two ampere. And for the global standard, then depends on what the models that you order. For the basic, they have Ethernet IP. They have the E in here. If you want to use Ethernet, they can provide a E the model with an EC model number. And finally, if you want to use Provinet, they also provide a module that with PM model numbers. For the IoT ready, and this is a very great function that I for this uh, for the module for Muru Electronic. Why? Because in the ironing module, in the ironing master, they sub they have OBC UA server integrate, they support MQTT, and they support REST API. So what does that mean? Is that mean that you not can you you can get the data or you can control and config all the data all the ironing or your master, outing master, with the traditional classic PLC like uh, Siemens Coxis and Pekoff IPC, but also you can use some um, other type of solution, for example, like LogRed, Python, or uh, Go language, everything that you want. You can get the data, you can configure your date, your outing master by using not just PLC, but use some third party. So it is also a great point for me that would like to highlight in here in this video but don't worry in the future I will um, first show you how to integrate the PLC the Arling master to the PLC and then I'll also show you how to use the OBC UA features MQTT features and um, REST API so it is just a very short video and I hope you like it and in the future I will release some tutorial very soon so uh, please have a good day and bye bye